but it's a nationwide search going on for him. Why right. no one thought to search that car right away? Hey family, and welcome back to another episode on our true crime series. If you are new here, my name is Artrissa, and this is Herschel, my husband. And we like to basically bring knowledge to a lot of cases that isn't getting a lot of light or we also talk about a lot of true crimes on this series so um today y'all we are bringing light shining light on taylor young taylor young was a 25 year old male who went missing from houston texas now his case is very very new um he went missing december 9th and they found his body um january 19th um which was nearly a month later nearly a month later they found his body um decomposing in his trunk taylor was originally from new, new orleans. orleans yeah yep he was originally from new orleans i believe his family um relocated to houston texas around katrina time yeah you know that a lot of people was moving around um around that time because everybody had to evacuate but um he was 25 years old. I believe he graduated from Sam Houston University. He was working yeah. in finance. He was, yes. And he just, one day he vanished. And they don't know why. They still don't know why, which is kind of crazy. So we here, we going to pretty much just go through the timeline and just Shine try and light figure on out. what happened to Taylor. So um, a couple facts that we know was um he pulled up into a capital one atm they show his car pulling in um his girlfriend at the time states that it doesn't seem like he rolled the window down or opened the door or anything however his phone was discovered at the capital one atm in Salicious. um and another fact is he went missing on the ninth and the girlfriend allegedly moved out of their apartment on the 11th. Um, she has also stopped communicating. She has deactivated her Facebook, deactivated her social media. Um, so, yeah, it's a lot of controversy around whether the girlfriend knows anything that she's not telling. Um, the mom mentioned that the girlfriend did contact her and wanted her to help her find his phone. Um, Friends was telling the mom how she would track Taylor regularly. Um, he was in the process of breaking up with her. He wanted to end the relationship. And so the mom thought it was very suspicious for the girlfriend who already tracks him um, to come ask her to help find his phone when she already knew where his phone was. Um, she was also asking about financials and investments, um, and the mom also found that super suspicious, but we honestly haven't found much information, um, about what happened to Taylor besides him going to the ATM, um, because he was running a few errands, he was on his lunch break running errands, um, so he stopped by the ATM and that's the last thing they know. Um, that Taylor did and they know that because he was texting the girlfriend telling her what was going on at the time So his mom said the Capital One bank that he his car was captured on camera at, It was he shouldn't have been in that area for, mm -hmm. for whatever reason she said that that area was far away from his workplace now Someone said at the time that he was working remotely So uh -huh. he, he probably shouldn't have been at the office of his workplace, but his mom state that he shouldn't have been at that Capital One because that was out of the area for him. So that was suspicious for one, that he drove across town to this ATM. Another thing that's real suspicious is that his car is captured on camera at the ATM, but it doesn't appear that he rolled his window down and mm -hmm. things like that. So that kind of, that that's kind of weird as well. It's definitely a red flag. And his mom... The way she found his phone was she did the, um, if you have an iPhone, iPhone, you know you can use Find My iPhone. So she used Find My iPhone and found his phone. 
um, ironically enough, that it was in the bushes by that ATM where his car was found. So, yeah. I mean, that's not a coincidence. Like you had a you had a, a Capital One you normally don't go to, right? And it appears that you didn't roll your window down when you got to this ATM. So they don't know if it was you driving your car. Right. Well, they don't know if someone was in a car with him, but. His phone end up in the bushes by that ATM. Like, don't no one get out the car and put their phone in the bushes. You know, right. that's, that, I mean, something they, happened. They were asking for the footage from the Capital One Bank, and they told them no, that they would need a subpoena um, to view that footage. So, they actually got the footage from a Kroger that was in the same parking mm -hmm. lot, um, and it showed that his car pulling in. So, they still don't have the footage from the Capital One Bank. But they are also waiting on the autopsy to come back um, to see what happened to him. Because when they found him, it's from Houston. He well, he lives Houston. in Houston. His body was discovered in the trunk of his car in Dallas. At an impound lot. At an impound lot. So, so that's, some happened. Like, that, that goes to show something. you right there. Like, he went to this ATM. His phone was found in his bushes. Well, now his car was abandoned at a shopping center in North Dallas, which is over 250 miles away from Houston. He mm -hmm. wouldn't have been in Dallas for nothing. Like, he had no business in Dallas. So, whoever done this, they took his car. He went missing on the 9th of December. His car was discovered abandoned at a shopping center in North Dallas on December the 10th, mm -hmm. and which his car was impounded at that point. So, from the 10th, to the 19th when he was actually discovered in the trunk of his car at an impound lot. It was a national search going on for him the whole time, but they know where his car is. It's at an impound lot in Dallas, Texas. And what I find very suspicious is his car is here. You can find out who Carter is very easily by running the license plates or anything like that. But it's mm -hmm. a nationwide search going on for him. Why right. no one thought to search that car right away? It took a whole month right. to discover him decomposing in his trunk because he's been there for a month. Right. That's, I mean, that's weird. I mean, it shouldn't, things like that should not happen. I mean, that's pretty protocol that I have a missing person. I now find a missing person car the day after he goes missing 200 and some miles away in another major city. So I impound his car. I should search that car right away. Right. Well, if y'all have worked for um, a car lot or people that impound cars, let us know down below how that process go. Like, when you impound the car, do you search the car? Um, do you have permission to search the car? Is that a thing? Um, or no? How does that go? I really want to know how that goes. But the thing is, the car was left abandoned. So, when the car... I'm thinking the only way this can work is if this car left in a shopping center. So someone that owns a business in this shopping center or someone works at a business in this shopping center, the way it goes is, hey, it's a suspicious car here and it's been out here since yesterday. So when someone comes, the police obviously comes when because the police is going to alert whoever, like the tow company, the tow the vehicle. So... Once I don't find nobody coming back for this car, I'm going to tow this car. See right. what I'm saying? So my thing is, but at that point, the family, when you run those license plates, whoever this car come back to, his family should have been notified. If you can't reach him, Definitely. reach his family. Hey, this car is parked here. Because for one, they want to give somebody a ticket for leaving this car here. You see right. what I'm saying? So it's like, they, a car can very easily, the owner of a car can very easily be found by mm -hmm. running a license plate. It's like, it's no excuse for that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Then they impound the car. So, it's a lot of fishy stuff going on about this now. At this point, they're still at spot number one. Right. It's they a, don't know what is going on with Taylor. Um, his best friend has spoken out um, to basically speak on his character. He was very, you know, charming, very lovable, um, very outgoing. He was into karaoke. Um, he could juggle. Um... And things like that, you know. So, they don't think he would have just went missing out of the blue. Especially not talking to his best friend or his mom. And he was the only child. So, um, the mom said they, you know, she talked to him a lot. Um, they're basically best friends as well. So, they don't think he would just up and disappear without contacting them. 
at all. So, um, you can find the mom and the best friend on all social media platforms if you type his name into Google. Um, the information will pull up. Now, I did go back and I found an article that the mom shared about this guy um, who was in connection to um, ATM robbery. Um, and she figured that it might be a connection there. Um, I haven't heard anything else about that, but I will be looking more into that and updating you guys on the information that I find. Um, but at this moment, on the only thing that we know is that he was running errands and went to an ATM. His phone was found in the bushes close to the ATM. He was, his car was discovered in North Dallas and it was impounded to a location in South Dallas. Um, his body was decomposing in the trunk of his car and that's all that we know. There's not much information. Um, it's getting a little coverage, but in my opinion, it's not getting enough coverage. Um, even celebrities, um, like Cardi B reposted it and asked, you know, if anybody know any information to come forward with it. So I do feel like he's getting some coverage, but clearly not enough coverage. And we definitely want to find out what happened to Taylor Young. We have to find out what happened to him. He's so definitely, definitely. As more um, information uncovers, we will definitely update you guys on his case. When the autopsy comes back and that information is released, we'll do another video and bring you guys that information. And I do want to thank our subscriber for leaving this information in our comment section. Um, if you guys have any cases that you want us to cover, any true crimes that you want us to cover, make sure you leave it down below in the comment section. If you haven't already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and join the family. We are bringing y'all hot topics over here. So join the family. Give us a like. Give us a thumbs up. Leave us a comment down below. And we will see y'all in the next video.